Hey guys, today's video is going to be an update on some of the things that have been going on at my parents' property. I've had a lot of you guys ask me about these videos and where they are, and I've expressed that I, and I don't know if everyone has seen this, but I have expressed in a past video that I haven't been talking about it because it's very important to know that I am being viewed as authentic, that my intentions are coming across clearly. I get concerned that the more I share about these things on my channel, the less I'm viewed as authentic. And when I go and I do paranormal investigations and I'm doing the more serious side of things, I want to be taken seriously and I don't want you guys to view me as this YouTuber that just sits around and tells paranormal experiences. Well, I just kind of decided to take a step back from it. I was actually talking to my friends a couple weeks ago about how I had these things to share, but I wasn't going to share them. I don't want people to think that I'm being dishonest that I'm not being authentic. That's something that's very, very important to me. Because you guys have been asking me for these videos and I know that you haven't gotten a proper update and in the event that I never do another video about the experiences at my parents' house, you will at least have this video to understand why I'm not doing that. I can't say right now that I won't do another one. It really just depends. It also makes me nervous because I am on the internet and thousands of people watch my content. I never know who those people are. I don't know if someone is watching that has done this because if they have gone to these lengths to mess with my mom and to do things that scare her and they've done it over a period of time, they might know some things about her. They might know her name, might know she has kids, might have found me, might have found these videos, you know, you never know. One of the things that's crossed my mind when it came down to this particular experience I'm going to share with you guys today is that this is something that someone would share on YouTube. And if someone knew that I had a YouTube channel and they did this, they might think that I would share that. Considering these things are on the level of psychopath, like the person that's doing this is not, they're not okay. They have some problems. I don't know if it's okay to talk about it. Like I feel like they might like me sharing it. And that is another reason why this might be the last video that I do. Another thing that leads me to believe that it could be someone that watches my videos is I've talked about the cameras before, right? Well, we have not caught one person on these cameras. I know there's a person doing it. And considering the fact that there has not been one person caught on their security cameras leads me to believe that the person that's doing it knows they're there. They might have known to look for them and to go out of frame, to go and do things that won't be seen. This is just pure speculation. I don't know. But anyways, if this so happens to be the first video that you've ever seen of me, I have an entire playlist dedicated to the experiences from my parents' property in the woods. There's been some things that are paranormal related, and then there's been things like this that are the most scary of all, and that are the things that involve actual people. And I do believe that my mom specifically has a stalker or someone that watches her and does this to her. Before I get into it, I just wanna let you guys know, those of you that are interested, I am going to be posting some new jewelry in my Etsy shop, etsy.com slash shop slash midnight trove. I will have it linked down below. Some pieces that are different than ones that I have released before that are super cute. I'm gonna show you guys one of them really quick. This is one of the necklaces that is going to be in my shop. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is not an actual opal. This is made out of glass and it's made to have the appearance of an opal. All my other crystals are real, but this one isn't. I just like that it was a crescent moon. I thought it was super beautiful. And I don't know if you guys can see like the color shift in it all. Um, on this camera because my lens is really far away, but this is stunning and there's only gonna be like two of them So if you like this make sure you go favorite my shop that way you can get your hands on it I'm also going to have a few daintier pieces like this These are absolutely beautiful And this is one that I almost want to keep for myself because it's so dainty and stunning But your girl needs some money So this is going to go in my shop and I freaking love this one It's citrine and it is just so delicate. I feel like this is going to be perfect for someone who likes to wear jewelry but that's a little bit more simpler so if you guys are interested in any of my crystal necklaces that I'm going to be posting 
posting in my shop. Make sure you guys go over to my shop that I will have linked in the description down below. I only have the quantities that are available, so if there's something that you guys like, you're gonna have to get your hands on it while you can. And yeah, if you purchase something, I'm very excited to see what it is that you get. Also, an extra disclaimer, I am sick, so I am talking very slow and not fully myself so if i seem off in this video i don't feel the best i'm not where i need to be in my life right now so i just would like to let you guys know that if this is the first video you've ever clicked on of me normally i seem a lot happier and i'm not as bland and like i don't sound as disgusting so just keep that in mind as you continue this video that i'm just not fully myself and that's the situation with all that being said let's go ahead and get into this video which is very serious so i don't remember the exact time timeline of all of these events. The second thing I'm going to tell you guys after I tell you guys the first thing is the most recent thing within the past two months. I don't even think it was two months ago to be honest with you, but it is the most recent. And also keep in mind that these are things that are compiled in with a whole bunch of other stuff that I have done videos on in the past. So if you guys would like to make sure you go catch up because there are a bunch of different types of things that are just very, very strange and unusual that people would do this and it makes these things I'm going to share with you guys in this video even weirder. Over the summer, my mom keeps out hummingbird feeders and she went to go change out the, I think it's like sugar water that you make for hummingbirds. You put the sugar in it and then um, dye it. Well, my mom went to go change it out and there was some left. And when she went to go pour the hummingbird feeder out into the sink, she noticed that it smelled like whiskey. But is there a way that sugar water might end up smelling like whiskey after a period of time? Is that something that happens? And I couldn't find anything else about it, which is another reason why I wanted to share this with you guys. Is this something that can happen? Is it normal for your hummingbird feeder to smell like whiskey. And I feel like maybe this is something that most people would dust off and they would be like, maybe it's nothing. But considering there's been a lot of things that have happened there, it does kind of make you wonder like, is there something to this? Is it connected? My mom thinks someone poured whiskey in her hummingbird feeder. When you sit there and you think about it and you think of someone going and putting alcohol in your bird food? What kind of person do you have to be to do that? Because that's so random and an odd thing to think about. And if you're doing that, you're either going out of your way to think of something that doesn't make sense to do to screw with that person or you're dangerous. There's something about you that isn't normal. And you know, my mom told me about that and I thought that that was incredibly strange that that happened. Now my parents have a whole bunch of security stuff in place. Like if anybody tries to go in their house, they're in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. They're safe in that way, but knowing that someone would walk onto my parents' property and do these things, knowing they're going to see it scares me. It makes me feel like she's being watched. So what happened was my mom had recently changed out her mailbox and put out a new one. Now the old one she had taken, and I cannot remember for the life of me if she said they put it in the shed or on the outside of the shed, but I think it was on the outside of the shed. At some point, my mom ended up noticing that it looked like there was something on the mailbox. So she walks over to it. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of this because my mom took a photo. But there is a large white handprint on her mailbox, on the old mailbox, just front and center, I want you to see me, like right there. And to me this is incredibly odd because someone would have to put paint on their hand and then put it on the mailbox and why would they do that? Like why didn't you do the mailbox that is out there that people put the mail in that they would have found sooner or why didn't you put it on like a door or something like why did you put a white handprint on the mailbox why that like why didn't you put it on the shed that's right next to it why that it's so weird and it's a large hand and not to mention but that's like an identifier that's like Correct me if I'm wrong, but if my parents just took that to the authorities or something, they'd probably be able to get like handprints off of that. And if they've ever been arrested before, they could match it. Like you just gave them 
an identifier for who is going on their property. Now, my parents haven't done anything with the handprint yet, but I strongly advise them to. I was like, you have the handprint of the person doing this because they're clearly not intelligent enough that they would do that. Take it to the authorities and see if there's something that they can do with that. Like, I don't really know how that works, but a handprint's a handprint. Like I have said, when you compile all the different things that have happened and the different types of experiences that my mom has had since she lived there, this one is just really strange to me because it's like you want people to know who you are or something. You want recognition for it because you just left a handprint. Now, my mom has her theories on who it is. I'm not going to share that on my channel in the event that they are watching or anything to that effect. I don't want to put that on the internet. I'm not sure what I think. I personally think it's someone that lives down the road that knows who my mom is in some way, shape, or form and fancies her, especially considering there's been things like gifts that have been left and it you know, prior really, like, is this something paranormal? But now I'm like, no, like this is a crazy person. I have watched so many videos on the internet of people that have stalkers and, and shit like that. And sometimes they do really weird things, but I still to this day have never heard a story as weird as this one where someone has literally left a painted handprint. Number one, there was no white paint anywhere, no sort of drips of white paint or anything showing that there had been white paint in the vicinity. And just why would you do that? It's almost like marking their territory or like, is there a bigger meaning behind it to them when they put the handprint on there? Did that mean something to them? I don't know. It's someone that's calculated enough to know to avoid cameras, but also someone that's kind of stupid that would leave a handprint. Like, I can't wrap my head around it. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think down below about this. And you know, we'll just have to chat about it. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna do any more updates on this stuff, unless for some reason I feel comfortable enough to. I hope nothing else happens. There's been too many things, too many things. Like, remember when I did the video in the past about how someone went out there and started smashing my mom's lights that she had around her deck? Like, who does that stuff? Some Someone that's absolutely disgusting, has no shame, and literally no life. Like, you have no life. You aren't doing anything with yourself if you are going out there and doing that. Like, period. I do believe that they are going to get caught. I don't know how, but I do believe that they are. And if it's somebody doing this because they think they're being funny, they're gonna get a reality check. And that's the tea. So once again, I'm sorry if I seem off in this video. I made myself sit down and film even though I'm sick. So if I seem a little bit off, I do apologize for that. And like I said, if this is the first video that you've ever seen of me, I'm not normally like this. It's just, it's, I've been having the time of my life. But if you didn't yet, make sure you check out my playlist down below where I've had other experiences that I have shared. You guys will have to leave me a comment down below about what you think about this experience if you would like to, because I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys watch this video all the way through, as always, the emoji that I would like you guys to leave is a little tree emoji, something that's very woods themed. And give this video a thumbs up if you didn't already. And also make sure to subscribe so you can see me on a better day when I'm not as dull and sad as I am right now. But I hope that you guys are having a spooky day or night, whatever it is where you are, and I will see you in my next video.